I'm working on some really big writing projects this year, really big. And I wanted something that will complement my digital experience. I find myself just wanting to write on paper. I fill up notebooks with ideas. Problem is it's really tough transferring that information to my computer and getting it organized. So I'm thinking the Remarkable might help with that. So this is the Remarkable 2. Made myself some ginger tea. Hey, oh, got my girl Brittany here. Isn't that beautiful? The incredible artist that I know named Lizzie Green. Uh, she created this, painted it. Look how she has sparkles on her belt, like little sparkles on her booty shorts. It's incredible. Okay, back to the program. So for, we are unboxing the Remarkable 2. Um, this is just all I wanted to do today was, I'm not even really writing to, I wrote a short mm, flash memoir piece for my blog today. Ooh, let's straighten out the camera. And that's about it. Like a little bit of writing, but nothing crazy. I am writing a lot more lately. And I feel like as a writer, um, it's all about having the right, there, there's a lot of things we could get into. I think part of enjoying writing and enjoying the process of writing and becoming a writer and like growing into your own as a writer is learning about your process, learning about what works for you, getting the right tools, like getting a workstation set up if, if you um, are the type of person that likes a routine and likes a workspace. If you're not, then maybe it's more about finding different tools for on the go or, you know, just like, I don't know what works. For some people, it's their pen. Like I was watching this awesome interview with Neil Gaiman. He's super cool. I think it was a Tim Ferriss interview. He was talking about his process, about a bunch of the works that he's written and how he came up with the idea or what was going on around the time, like with the graveyard book, what inspired that. And um, also his work on Good Omens and like the emotional story behind that, like it was such a good interview. But back to my point, he was talking about using, he loves to use a fountain pen. He writes a lot of his initial drafts, his books and his stories by hand, um, which I guess is just, it's less common nowadays, right? I don't know if he writes the whole thing, but I know he writes a lot of it, at least in, in fountain pen. And for him, it's just that experience, being able to have something that he can hold. And it's it brings him back to this, this space of kind of like channeling that creative energy in a way that is routine, in a way that is familiar, and a way that feels a little bit, like dare I say, luxurious. So I imagine that for him, uh, fountain pen over a ballpoint pen or a pencil, like it's smooth and it's fluid and it feels comfortable and it feels a little bit more elevated. My point being, everyone has their different ways of like what helps them do their best writing. And this is a pretty pricey option. It is the Remarkable tablet. This is the Remarkable 2. It's supposed to be the Remarkable 2. Yes, okay. Better paper, better thinking. Take notes, read, and review documents with unparalleled paper feel. Designed to help you focus. And I also bought some goodies for myself. I got typing without distractions, a type folio. So this is the, the brown um, leather. It feels very nice to the touch, very smooth. So that's the type folio. I'll, I'll open everything and Love it. Got a nice, remarkable pen with built-in eraser. Now they have two options. Okay, let me lay out the options. Should we talk about that first? So you can get a remarkable or a remarkable two. There's just kind of some more uh, attributes, updates that they added. And I want the one, if I'm paying, you know, top dollar for this thing, I wanna get like the updated version. It's kind of like, you know, if there's a bunch of iPads and, you're, they're all similar prices anyway, whatever, it's your choice. So the whole gist of this is that I think it uses aluminum and glass and it's supposed to give you a real paper-like writing and reading experience. Quick note, I said that this was glass and aluminum. 
It's aluminum and it's actually made of plastics, but it's like a new technology that looks and feels like glass. So it's a really, really nice experience. But yeah, I just wanted to make that clarification. Also, I believe this, it's like, this is a, it's like board. It's not like a full leather, but it's adhered to sort of like a board so that, you know, it's a little more protective. It's nice. Um, I like it a lot. But the reason why it's a little bit more luxurious and elevated than just using paper and pen is not only because of the, the look and feel and design of almost as if you're writing on an iPad or a tablet, but without that obnoxious LED blue light screen that's, you know, driving my eyes crazy lately, <laughs> my brain maybe. Um, it also allows you to upload things online to different cloud services. You can convert handwritten notes, handwritten notes into text. I'm excited to see how that performs. Um, and just taking notes like on PDFs, so you could send to yourself and you can sign like an e-document that you can send to Google Docs or some similar cloud services. The Remarkable has, um, like I said, its own kind of storage where it just uploads it. You have to pay for this after a year. For the first year, it's free. Um, after that, it's just like small monthly payments. If you, if you want to, it's optional. Then there's also integrations with Google Drive, like I said, Dropbox, One OneDrive. And then you can read on Remarkable by sending files like an EPUB file. So like if you have a book on your computer, for example, if I want to send my first EPUB file that I get from my designer of a, of a book that I just wrote, maybe a, a short story collection that I just wrote, and they send me the final EPUB fin document and I want to read that and um, do like a final proofing on a device, see, see how it feels, you can actually bring that EPUB drop it in on in here send it on over however files can't exceed 100 megabytes so you know do with that information what you will there are obviously limitations here but i think for what i need this is more than enough really i think what they're marketing this as is a distraction free experience which we all know if you have your phone nearby you're probably going to be distracted unless you're just really, really good at handling that. I'm still working on it. I have phases where I'm really good with my phone and phases where I'm a little too dependent on it. And it just kind of depends. Obviously, I'm going to have to work in Word and hopefully on Scrivener, use some online tools to get my larger body of work, you know, organized and feeling good about it. But the thing is, it can still be distracting too. I think that this is just a nice way to have a notebook-like experience without having to use the clutter of like tons of notebooks, tons of papers and pens, all of that, you know, physicality. This appears to be the best of both worlds when it comes to the digital experience of writing and the paper experience of writing. It's sort of like you're getting a little bit of both and you're able to go back and forth between the two a little bit more seamlessly, or at least that's how it's advertised. Okay, opening up the tablet itself. Um, nice. Let's take a look. It's very similar to Apple. We designed Remarkable to not get in your brain's way to help you think. Love that. and. Um, everything's like protected with a nice little sheet of vellum. It's very classy, people. Very classy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. This is uh, definitely a luxurious, like, feeling tablet. 
it's a really nice size like this is some of them were a bit smaller and it frustrated me or they have like really big bezels or a really chunky which uh, you know you have to have a little sidebar to like hold on to it and this does have that it's a I think it's aluminum so it gets a little cold this is like super cold because it was outside in the snow <laughs> with this package um but it's not too small where I feel like I could actually write a good amount and not feel like everything's stuffed and crammed on the page. From what I hear, it does have a bit of a learning curve. I'm ready for that. It's not like it has a lot of buttons at all. I'm pretty sure there's just an on and off button and then like you use the stylus for the rest pretty much. So minimalist, a minimalist dream, folks. They give you like a little note, you know, nice little that's adorable the blank page awaits the remarkable team yes is this a lot of money to spend on something that's supposed to get you to simplify your life <laughs> probably but if it can do that for people in a world where we're also spending a lot of money on the exact opposite thing go ahead god bless right like that's my feelings towards it i know some people might see this as a little unnecessary that's fine plug the fact that they that's a little extra out of all the things i think that that's probably the most extra the fact that you have to do that just to get to the usb cord but like hey i'm not knocking it um cool 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 so i'm gonna charge that sucker up nice we will get cracking i'll show you kind of what's going on with this thing also just want to mention they shipped this puppy and it is it is charged at least a little um they definitely shipped this thing i got it within i think two days of ordering it i'm no promises no guarantees for you it's probably different for everyone at different times and you know when they're busy when they're not but this thing literally felt like it came to my doorstep then like the second after i purchased it that was how i felt Express yourself, right? Sketch or scribble below. That is so cool. All right, let's try this thing out. So the canvas display creates a true paper experience. It does, it feels like you're writing with pen and paper, just really nice pen and paper. Like, And it says every now and then your display will refresh itself. Give it a try and see for yourself. I'm gonna click refresh. Okay, cool. That's what a screen refresh looks like. So basically the screen goes black every once in a while. They're trying to make it sound like fancier than it is. It just has to do that to refresh itself, keep itself going. It's completely normal, keeps your display looking clean and sharp. Now let's get you set up, start set up, cool. So I gotta get connected to my Wi-Fi. I gotta do all that. I'm gonna give this a whirl, maybe get a little comfortable with it first, and then I'll, I'll be back with you in a second. You can opt for a bunch of different folios. You can get a really basic folio that just, you flip it open, it's just a cover to kind of protect the screen. Or you can slide your tablet in there like a sleeve, is what I'm trying to say. I'm not sure if that's more padded or not, but both options sound great. And then you have this really nice leather folio that has the option of, a keyboard which you know I want to mostly use this with the pen but I also like the idea of being able to type when I want to get a lot of words down in a little amount of time and I believe you can choose from black or brown and now we're gonna dig into this keyboard pad folio hybrid situation it's probably nothing new. If you already own a tablet of some sort, like an iPad, I don't have an iPad, but I imagine like it's all similar. You can see my handprint. Okay, so my hands are really sweaty. So this is, yes, you get a little bit of fingerprinting on this leather, but it fades super quickly. So I just don't want you to get freaked out. This is not the best color experience right now on my camera, but I'll try to get a closer up like with my phone and film that for you. Can I probably get something similar for cheaper? Yes but did they do a good job quality wise with the materials given and how it looks and how everything is laid out together um how this whole like system looks together phenomenal job so i hope that it gives you like a little bit of an idea it's like this is not a must i think the pen and the um folio these items aren't must-haves 
they're nice to have. Okay, I was like, where is the keyboard? Wow, okay, so it's a little bit hard to open at first and it kind of might freak you out because you're like, what's happening? <laughs> Um, but that's because it slides. This is insane. Okay, it's really well made. Wow. Magnetic. So let me explain what just happened and why I'm like not expecting this. This is unlike a lot of other tablets that I've played around with in that it just pulls, it slides right back. Some of these folios, you have to fold up like an accordion and you're like, which way does it go? And you're flipping it around and it's sort of not like that. It just like folds down and then slides back into place. And that's all she wrote. For those of you that are like keyboard people, like you wanna have a really nice keyboard experience, this is great. If I were to compare it to something else, not in the writing tablet zone, but just tech wise, I would say it kind of reminds me of the keys on like a surface tablet there are a lot of elements to this experience so far that are giving me surface they're giving me those vibes and i like that because i think that those are it's a nice aesthetic it's convenient portable like that type of a feel right so and also like kind of pricey but and lastly the pen so the cool thing this is such nice but this is like apple the way that they create pretty sure that this is a norwegian brand which love it okay so the pen you can opt for this with or without the eraser which i was just like i was just go big or go home i think i got the nicest options of all the different things so the, that is that is sleek look look at this so you just do a nice little lifty lift beautiful pen um it's a stylus but it does have that eraser and it it's a little like it's nice it's like lightweight but it has like a little just a just enough heft to it that you i feel like it would be comfortable it's not heavy at all to write with but it's a little bit luxurious feeling so so far that's beautiful there are all different options that you don't have to use the remarkable pen you can get other styluses uh, stylus pens from other brands i know um there's one that's similar to like the Lamy, Lamy, like pen with like, it's like a little chunkier of a barrel. Um, people really like it. That's the Neil Gaiman uses that fountain pen, not a stylus, but fountain pen version of it. So there's a lot of things that people go for. And I don't think it's like, you have to get this. I just, one cart tossed everything in there, like a one and done shopping experience for me. Um, but beautiful, beautiful pen. I think that this is great. I'm excited to see the rest of their products. It's fancy. This looks like it looks like a fancy necklace or something. <laughs> it's like really nice. A chef's key. So I just hooked it up to the keyboard, but they literally ask you, do you prefer a PC experience with your keyboard or a Mac experience? Like when it comes to like, you know, control all. Let's go, let's go, let's absolutely go walking you through real quick this full experience so sorry for the shakiness of the camera uh, types of documents you can open a folder you can open a notebook which i'm assuming is their version of like its pages and quick sheets um, in addition to your own content upload pdfs and ebooks via our apps so you can download ebooks onto this it's like through their app not through Amazon and my remarkable my dot remarkable dot com and you place okay so you can place those in the folders so say you want a folder you want to get a couple ebooks drop them in here and then you want like your writing stuff separate you can organize all of that which I love something I've noticed about like I have a Kindle it's not super old but um it's great for reading like I love this paper white whatever they call this the background of not having like a a screen it feels like you're reading a book or reading on paper but i will say the kindle doesn't feel as organized like my kindle's all over the place there's just it's cluttered it's a very cluttered user experience when you get in there when you're trying to like buy books look for books look through your books look through your notes like i personally think it could be more organized 
Um, categorize your work using keywords on hold or in progress by creating tags. Okay, so you create your tags, which organize this. So if I have something that's in progress, if I have finished work, whatever, I can tag it with that note. If you prefer not having lots of folders, you can search through my files, filtering either by tag or document types. So like if you're like, I don't want folders, you don't have you don't have to. So this is pretty much keyboard commands. Like you can hold something and you hold down on that, you press and hold um, in order to do a whole bunch of actions, or you can do swiping motions or tapping motions for different things, right? So those are basically like the commands. Tap, starting a new page is a tap, uh, you tap the button. So um, that's cool. And you can arrange your documents in like an overview. There's different sizes of font of text and that's helpful, right? If you want headers, subheaders, things like that. And you can bold and italicize your content. You can also do bulleted lists. Pages can be as long as you need. You can keep on going as long as you want or you can create new pages. So just like a notebook experience, if you want to have separate pages, maybe you want to have a page for each chapter, their short little chapters, or a page for each story, but you want some stories to be longer than others, like it allows for that. And I do think this is like low key brilliant. It sounds like simple things, but for a writer, these are actually, it's almost like having your customizable notebook and computer together living as one unit, sort of, which it's, it really is like, it's a remarkable feat. <laughs> Just want to pop in and mention this quick note as I'm toying around with this. Um, pretty much it's uploading, sorry, downloading a new version, like um, an update, basically making an update to the software. It asks you to do that, or at least ask me to do that right at the beginning after you connect to your Wi-Fi, just, you know, boot you up real quick, give you a little boost. The writing experience on this is fantastic. I'm sure at a certain point I'll get over the novelty of it, but right now it's just a nice feeling product. Like we'll see in terms of longevity, in terms of word count, if I'm really able to like use this thing to actually write, to write a story, to write a poem, to work on a novel. I'm not sure yet about those things. What I am sure of after literally a minute or less of toying around with this is that the stylus to surface experience on the Remarkable 2 is phenomenal. It blows me away. It feels very luxurious. It feels very comfortable. I've been holding this for a while now and it's like, it's a little heavy for a tablet. Nah. I'm not sure comparatively. By the way, it has a built-in keyboard, so you don't need you don't need that type folio, the type pad folio, unless you really want that extra. In fact, part of me, this might be my only, we'll see, but so far my only regret of the purchase is that I don't think I needed that extra keyboard. I think it will be really nice to have, so we'll see, but also like tablets it's more cramped like it's not like a great typing experience no matter what you don't want to be like hunched over your tablet all the time a quick note on experience like customer service and setting up the equipment so far i've loved how simple they make setting this thing up you do connect it to like an account online it walks you through that process very seamlessly if that's what you want to do you don't have to but if you want to upload it to like they have their own cloud system and if you want to use that um they walk you through the process really well like the copywriters the designers that are on this team they do a great job everything's just so simple and seamless i don't feel like i'm reading through tons of instructions i don't feel like it's confusing at all there's barely any paper like it's just walks you right through on the device itself also they emailed me like throughout the pro like when when the item shipped or when it was about to ship not only did i get ups updates throughout the whole shipment um and like there was a snowstorm and came super quick and it walked me through that process made you know gave me my ups tracking very quickly efficiently but also they email you with like a confirmation and kind of it's just a premium customer service experience so far now i don't know about calling in like if i have an issue with this later on down the road and i have to call in or try to contact someone maybe they have a service online for for troubleshooting like that kind of thing i don't i don't know that yet but what i can say from the upfront experience of customer service and uh 
onboarding is that it is very, very good. Reminds me a lot of Apple. In fact, if I had to like compare, even though they're very different products wise, I like this user experience and this onboarding and like the, the brand culture behind it. I like it even better than Apple. So this is my first experience of using, like I'm gonna bring you along for the ride. Let's see how easy it is to use. Quick sheets, we're just gonna do a quick sheet. Let's type. Hey, we're not even. Okay, so I just want to show you how this converts to text. I, I wrote a few pages today, not like anything super special, just kind of filler to make me kind of get started on a chapter. You can also email this stuff to yourself if you don't want to just upload it like to the their, their uh, cloud software or whatever, or to Google Docs or anything like that. If you just want email, you can do that. And click this button convert to text how crazy is this so it'll say converting to text <laughs> it's crazy too how like a full page just like cinched up like that real nice there you go not not fantastic writing but it's something and i'm just going to do that with the rest of this chapter and then email these pages to myself. Bing, bang, boom. And I will also talk a little bit about writing a novel with The Remarkable 2, what I've learned from other writers, whether it's a helpful tool for that or not, since some of my longer projects that are in the works are you know a little bit more extensive in terms of word count and therefore I'm kind of excited to see how this helps in terms of being able to jot down notes and outline things but also to just jump right into a scene and write it and then get it uploaded to my computer and then transfer all of that to a, a tool like Scrivener. So if you're writing a novel or writing a non-fiction book or maybe you're just planning on writing a whole bunch of different projects, maybe smaller ones, short stories. I imagine this is particularly good for the short story set, but I just, that's just a guess. As a writer beginning a story or any work, you can choose from lined paper, blank paper, grid, or even a checklist if you're outlining or making a to-do list. Apologies for the sideways view, but I want to give you a look at what the experience is as I workshop some fiction to see what it would be like to write a novel on The Remarkable 2. I'm really liking being able to use this as part of my setup when working with a desktop or laptop computer. They complement each other really nicely. And what I think is very cool, as I showed you earlier, I think you can choose from all these different writing tools. So whatever works best for you, um, you can get the feel that you like, whether it's a ballpoint pen, pencil, even a mechanical pencil, you can do some calligraphy. It's all pretty incredible. As you can see here, you can also erase if you purchase the pen that has the eraser on the back, then you can just flip it over, erase it that way. If not, you have to click the button, the eraser button, and then use the pen, which isn't a huge deal. But I will say like the price difference is kind of significant. I think it's kind of ridiculous. In my opinion, they should have just give, given you one pen with all the functionality with the eraser, have it at one price point that's maybe like in between the two or not as, not as high, but it is what it is. I'm glad that I got the pen that I did with the eraser, the full functionality. Just letting you know your options. Now, if you tr prefer traditional paper and pen, you're good with that. I mean, you're good with that. Like maybe you don't need to get this, right? But I do think that there's value in having the option to make your digital experience feel more like a typical writing one that it does with paper and pen. It's nice to kind of have both. After all the research that I've done and all the writing I've done on my own, it's two completely different processes, I think. Sometimes when you're writing on a computer, typing on a computer, your brain moves faster. And I've experienced this when I'm typing, it's a slightly different voice. It's actually kind of very different and not always in a good way. It's sometimes fine, but when I'm writing on the computer, I have a lot more to say. When I'm writing novel, short stories, nonfiction even, 
I still have a lot to say, but I want my words to come out straightforward, clean, concise. And when I write with pen and paper, it helps to slow down my thoughts. I'm able to express an idea, how a scene looks clearly. And so if the style of a writing that I'm going for is more clear and concise with less adverbs and adjectives, maybe I want my writing to just be received simply, then pen and paper helps me to achieve that over typing. And so I enjoyed the remarkable for this reason. I made a major outline of all the beats in my book in each act. So act one, act two, act three, Um, like the rise and the fall in my story this was really helpful for that. If you're following the hero's journey, any anything like that. Remarkable is awesome for creating outlines, adjusting those outlines, and uploading them to a computer or a device. And here are those different writing tools I was talking about, pens, pencils, highlighters. So it also makes it easy to switch back and forth between your outline and your writing pages or a specific scene or chapter or even to go in and out of multiple projects or books if you're working on several at once. Sometimes when you're just using hard copies like notebooks, unless you're doing an incredible job of tagging and bookmarking or color coding things, it can be very difficult to find what you need in that moment. So if you have three different notebooks and you're writing down ideas for your book, you're filled, they're all filled with ideas that um, maybe were all jumbled up, but they're just coming out of your mind, especially big for my stream of conscious writers. It can be really hard to find what you're looking for later and frustrating if you can't identify a specific scene, a moment, or thought. And the remarkable allows for deep organization, which while it's not foolproof, it just might help you get some of your time back. You can still be a stream of consciousness writer, but taking a moment at the end or the start of each session just to tag your work with a name or category, it's really as simple as that. You can see that I'm doing a bit of script writing with this, these different pens, just trying it out. It's really enjoyable. And I'm sure that some of this novelty wears off after a while. I know it will. So I think that while I can't give you advice, I'd say it's helpful to think about whether or not you can see yourself using this thing long term more than just playing around with it. Like, can you see yourself really taking advantage of these features? Are they helpful for you as a writer? So you can also see um, it updating here, the, the three dots. It, it's not significant lag time, but it's just an example of that, something to note. So secondly, can you see yourself taking advantage of more than one, more than just one of these features, these uses? Like, is it a game changer overall for your process? Because maybe, you know, you love the folder feature and you want to sync your work to the cloud, be able to email it to yourself, and you love the real writing feel without the harsh glare of a blue light tablet. Like, I think where this product excels is that it's at the center of several process improvements or process issues. So you'd likely just want to think about whether or not those features align with your goals before considering the purchase. I'm doing this voiceover after writing on this for a few days now, and I'm confident it's something I will use multiple times a week, if not daily. You can also copy and paste. So look how easy that was. I just drew a box around the words that I wrote. Now I can cut, copy, paste into another document or somewhere else on the same doc. And you can select your handwriting and manipulate that as you need to. And you can also change the handwriting into typed text, which is so cool because then if you email it or upload the file, you can copy and paste the typed text right into your Word document right into Scrivener, like wherever you want it to go. There's just a lot of flexibility and movement. It makes the writer's process so much more fluid than it is just on a computer or on a standard tablet or on a notebook. So what do I like most about The Remarkable? Is The Remarkable 2 any good? So there's a lot of things. Um, Definitely its functionality, but also its streamlined design. Like it's just really easy to use. I didn't have to watch tutorials on the Remarkable. I just picked it up as I went along. I don't know everything yet, but just in a couple days, 
it was not that tough. So I, I think most people will find this to be the case. I'm not super duper tech savvy, but it's just pretty intuitive. And most of all, I like the feeling of writing. I like how their stylus works. And I will say you can buy a stylus, like a pen from a different brand. They'll probably give you just as great of a feel. You can mix around, mix and match. But I, I just like this whole experience and it sounds and feels like I'm writing on real paper, except it's a little more sleek and luxurious. So I think it's a nice blend of both. Um, it doesn't try too hard. And I just wanna give you a feel of what it looks like writing in both script and just plain old messy handwriting. Um, overall, there's just not much to complain about. Last thing, since I am reflecting on these past couple days of using this, I know I mentioned that the type folio is not necessary, and I still maintain that it's not necessary, but it is really nice to have. I like typing on this thing too. I like, I like it all. So quick recap of overall impressions of this Remarkable 2 and the unboxing experience. I think that this is a fantastic tool for anyone looking to add to their writing repertoire, whether that's um, you just write in Word docs for now or you have some online tools for writing that you love, um, you're writing long form but you just want something to complement that experience, like for outlining books, for writing down notes, maybe you're a stream of conscious writer and you write either prose or poetry that's like of the moment you just want to grab something be able to write on it have that look and feel of an authentic writing experience like with paper and pen a really luxurious feel also all that is great but you want to make sure that your things that you write can easily be transferred to a computer that's where I think that this really shines. Um, there are some people who just are good with a notebook and pen, and if that's you, like this is kind of expensive. I think it is pricey. I will say the materials, the weight, the look and the feel, it's pretty luxe. It's a very luxe experience. So if you're looking for that, if you don't mind paying a little extra for that whole you know, experience that you're getting, then I think it is a great option. But again, at the end of the day, like a notebook and a pen can accomplish the things that this can accomplish. Really the only difference there being the ease and portability of being able to just upload a doc real quick to Google Docs or to a different drive and having it be a seamless experience. Now, can you also do that with the iPad or another tablet, any other tablet, right? There's like a million other, even the writing tablets that are just for writing, um, I think that they're all probably really similar and have pros and cons. At the end of the day, this is really for that unplugged experience. So if you don't want the whole like tons of blue light all day, staring at your computer screen all day, pouring over your book, you wanna be able to have some breaks in between where you can get the creative juices flowing, keep it all running, but like not be tied to a bright LED blue light screen experience all day this is probably a good choice if you don't mind um, footing, footing the bill for it. There's also that additional cost, which is going to be a little bit extra to make sure that you can like use their, their app experience, making sure that you have the full user experience of the remarkable like world of products moving forward, right? Because if they do make updates, if they add to their repertoire of what they offer you, my assumption is that's all gonna be counted in that cost, that extra cost. It's not just what you're paying for the tablet and the keyboard if you get that or the folio or the pen, right? These are all added costs. Um, so just keep in mind, there's a lot of added costs. There's kind of some hidden stuff if you're not really paying attention that you might want to have and that might cost a little bit extra. So those are my thoughts generally. Um, I am really excited to have this. Um, I'm very excited and I'm hoping that it will complement my experience. Again, I'm gonna use this for the trial period. They give you a trial period. I think it's a month, I'm not sure, I have to check. But I plan to use that wisely and if this doesn't serve me in that time, then I will return it. But my hope is that it will be really fruitful and might really add to kind of some of the things that I'm planning this year with my writing in a way that's low stress, low commitment, like I don't have to be 
tied to a screen, staring at a screen. It's a little more portable for me. Um, and maybe it'll help me reduce all the clutter I have. For anyone who's like looking to move around a lot, I usually move around a lot. I don't typically stay in one place for a long, long time. So things like this, tools like this, even though they cost a bit of money, can end up really helping the long, long run. If you're looking for old work, if you really want to go back to something that you wrote, but you know you moved or you're traveling and you don't have that notebook with you or you can't find it, like something like this could be really nice to have where you can just upload things as needed. So I hope that that covered some of the pros, the cons, my general feelings about it. Uh, I can update you if you want down the road. All right, have a great day.